Juneteenth. This is such a beautiful example of how Democrats don't do anything for real for black folks. And make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button before you get into this video. And I say that a lot. I say, oh, this is a beautiful example. This is a perfect example. This really is the perfect example of how Democrats don't do anything for real, tangible, substance-wise for black people. They made Juneteenth into a federal holiday for those that don't know they made something that was already a holiday in 47 states including the District of Columbia it was already a state holiday in Texas since the 80s Joe Biden signed the bill presented in first in the house then passed through the Senate he signed that bill into law making it a federal holiday something that already was a holiday to begin with and it's about celebrating the emancipation of slaves in America but this now allows Joe Biden to say that look what I've done for y'all look what I have done for the African American community I gave y'all June, Juneteenth I gave it to y'all like all holidays become unfortunately all federal holidays ultimately get viewed by the masses as just a day off that's how they get viewed so he's not giving you something that's new besides the day off work that's the only real new benefit to what he's done but this, like I said, it allows Joe Biden, Kamala Harris to say, look at what we've done. Even though what they did is laughable in comparison to uh, what Trump did. Because Trump actually signed the First Step Act, which released thousands of mostly black men and black women from trumped up prison sentences for nonviolent offenses. So that right there is of much more significance than uh, Juneteenth. So my primary issue with the Juneteenth thing is, it's just another feel good, no substance tactic that was used by the Democrats like they love to use on especially emotional people they love using these type of tactics where they give you uh, crumbs that make you feel good, look good on the surface, but ultimately, how has it progressed black people just to get a day off work? And in this case, Joe Biden was a man of his word. He said he already did enough for y'all. And when I say y'all, he was talking about black folks during that civil rights meeting just prior to him taking office when he met with those civil rights leaders and was caught on a hot mic saying i already did enough for black people that's what joe biden said and he is showing that he's a man of his word because he still hasn't done anything according to the daily wire look at joe look at joe all happy all happy that he could pose like he did something President Joe Biden officially made June 19th, known as Juneteenth, I don't even like the sound of it, personally, a federal holiday on Thursday signing a bill into law that unanimously passed the Senate earlier this week and later passed the House of Representatives by a large margin. As the Daily Wire previously reported, the Senate bill, the Senate passed a bill Tuesday that would make Juneteenth a federal holiday. The act is called the Juneteenth National Independence Day and would designate the day as a legal public holiday. The holiday will be observed by most federal employees for the first time tomorrow since June 19th falls on a Saturday this year per the U.S. Office of Personal Management. 
at an event on Thursday, Biden spoke about the significance of the moment and Vice President Kamala Harris spoke as well. They said, great nations don't ignore their most painful moments, Biden said during a signing ceremony in the East Room of the White House as reported by the Wall Street Journal. Great nations don't walk away. We come to terms with the mistakes we made and remembering those moments, we begin to heal and grow stronger. Republican Senator John Corney, uh, yeah, John Corney, Corn in, I guess, the lead Republican sponsor of the bill in the Senate said, there's nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come, adding, and I just think the reaction of members of Congress, at least speak for myself, is we need this. We need this gesture, this gesture of racial reconciliation. Biden also used the moment to call for more change, saying Juneteenth marks both the long hard night of slavery and, subj and subjugation and the promise of a greater morning to come. He commented on the moral stain and terrible toll that slavery took on the country and continues to take, adding that it is America's original sin. So this is doing something for Democrats. Upgrading a, uh, a non-federal holiday into a federal holiday is doing something to Democrats. That's something that should be celebrated. That's some major uh, accomplishment, I guess, for them. How does that help you right now in your life? A few members of Congress did not vote in favor of the bill, citing the further racial division that creating a separate Independence Day might create for the country. Hey, I do see that as being potentially divisive, more divisive in the future, depending on how seriously some people want to celebrate that. Um, I mean, yeah, it's it's not more unifying, I, I'll definitely say that, because we are all Americans. I fully support creating a day to celebrate the abolition of slavery, Representative Thomas Marcy said during the debate on the House floor. However, naming this day National Independence Day will create confusion and push Americans to pick one, one of those days as their Independence Day based on their racial identity. But I am curious what you guys think about this whole thing. Let me know if you guys actually are in agreement with Juneteenth. You think this is a great thing, a great move and beneficial. Or if you are someone who is against it, let me know why you are not in favor of it being upgraded to a national holiday. Make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button and blessings to you.